Okay, here we are, folks. We're going to get this thing started tonight. The free seminar at Lake Fork Marina. Every other Friday night, we want to say thank you to Lake Fork Marina for letting us host it. Most importantly, we want to say thank you to each and every one of you that comes out here in person and each and every one of you in the box right there that's watching along, following along at home from the comfort of your couch. Every once in a while, come see us, though. We sure would appreciate it. We have got a new guest tonight. I don't know how many of you guys know this. Show of hands. Who knows who this is? Anybody? He's kind of a new face. He's not a new face because he's been around here since, I, mean, I think since basically I was born, he's been around the lake. This is Mr. Jeff Partridge. He's been fishing the lake since the early 80s. Uh, he is a very good friend of mine. He's also started a guide business out here. Uh, he's been fishing the lake forever, but always been working out of town. And he's kind of got a little freedom in his schedule now, so he's doing a little bit of both. And so he started a guide business, and uh, it's been going well for him, I know, because we've been talking a lot. And if you guys want to book a trip with Jeff, we have his full schedule on hand at all times, so you can book a trip with Jeff at yourlakeforkguide.com or the phone numbers and all the contacts that we always post for all that stuff. He's part of the team for sure. So, uh, Jeff, hey, first of all, thank you, brother, for coming out tonight. Thank you for allowing me. Heck yeah, it's, man. I love it. And, and I'll reiterate thanks to uh, Lake Fork Marina for allowing this to take place. I've been watching or coming for uh, probably over a year now and uh, it's what you guys got going on here is awesome totally yeah. like no other and uh i appreciate it thank you um, for uh some of you that may not know which was all of you <laughs> we did a trip what back in june last year and we had a uh actually we had a challenge now you remember it? I don't know. That's been too. That's oh, been a whole we, we, lot of videos ago. Did, did you, you whoop me? If you go back and look in June, I, I don't believe. Remember, was, I don't ever remember the losses. That's the problem. I never remember when I lose. It was a fish slap challenge. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me take a note. Let me take a note real quick. Yep. Yep. Write it remember down. Remember to this delete day. this video. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, it was a good day. It was a slow day, but nevertheless, it was a day he introduced me and. I uh, haven't looked back. It was uh, great. Um, at the end of that video, he allowed me to uh, partake in his series, The Guides Network, where I uh, got to uh, introduce my favorite technique, which I brought tonight as uh, one well, of you, them. The, the you main. brought not only your technique. But if I'm not mistaken, you brought some goodies, right? I did. I did. Where's your goodies at? I you got them in your pocket or something? I got them back here in the back. In the back. All right, let's, let's knock that out right let's off the bat. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right. We got some, at least two smiling faces out there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure y'all going to like it. <clears throat> All right, this is what you brought again. So, you know, be careful because one of them may have something in there that makes them a little racket, and the other one's kind of big and bulky and uh, um, you can just uh, pick and and decide on what but okay let's do the oldest vet it doesn't matter and then who is the youngest and then we'll let the oldest pick yeah sack so we're, gonna, we're gonna give some, we're gonna give a, a, a deal to the oldest vet and the youngest vet so who thinks they're the oldest vet in the house nobody, nobody uh, wants to raise their hand. all right all right give us a number uh Age. 28. Oh, how old are you? 73. Uh, now you got me beat. 70. Got me. 73. All right. You want big or small? Uh, small. I like small. Small. All the right. Six there you cents, go. As you see there. Yeah. And we know who the youngest is. He also qualifies under ugliest. Oh, uh, yeah. But he's our good buddy. He's right over there. Here, you get the biggest. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. That should be appropriate, right? Yeah, yeah you right. go. Well, hey, before we go any further, um, man, that, that's that's the deal right there. The veterans, uh, it's always a little awkward for me because being one myself and Ronnie is one himself, and and it's a little weird because, like, none of us ever want credit. At the same time, I feel like I owe so much to each and every one of you guys that did it before us, and Nick about the same time as us, brother in arms, man. Uh, you know, the world wouldn't be the same without all you guys. We're here on yeah. July 5th. The day after our country's uh, independence. Look at there. Yeah, so you know what that is, right? Super nice, yes. That's like the number one hottest on Lake Fork right now catching the. I can testify. It works. Of course, this young man right here, if you watch him on uh, 
a lot of his videos you can see and, and uh, his Facebook and Instagram is just loaded down with catching fish on that. For those who can't see on camera, that's the old Blue Truce crankbait. C20. C20 yes, from Six Cents 5.9 series. Yep, yep. So there you go. Yep. But yeah, no, all, all, all kidding aside, man, each one of you veterans, man, thank y'all so much. Absolutely. Uh, I definitely want to reiterate that because yesterday being the 4th of July, we won our independence by folks just like you willing to sacrifice it all and thank you thank you all for your service Amen. along with you and you thank Thanks you both brother. thank you it means a lot i get a lump in my throat every time i think about it because that's just it a lot of them didn't come home and uh, we should never forget that that's right so <clears throat> another thing i want to talk about is of course six cents products i love them i've been uh signed up for the super six tailored box is anybody aware of what that is well if you go on six cents lure six cent fishing dot com mm -hmm. there's a, a tailored box or a box you sign it's up it's a for. subscription deal subscription yeah so you get to pick uh, the water depth your clarity uh yeah. certain things yeah and they have they have a few different subscription options they have uh, some of their, their pro staffers have, you know, some of their bigger social media guys and stuff have like their picks and you can get their box where they pick the baits or you can just kind of get a random box or you can get the tailored box, which is what Jeff is referring to, where you get to put all the details in of the type of area you fish, the water clarity, yes. the region, and then six cents picks baits specifically for those yep. segments that you select and they give you a tailored subscription box where you pay X amount a month and you get a discount on the baits you get and you get new baits every month. It's a really awesome deal. Yes. I really wanted to do the unboxing tonight, but I've had that for like two weeks and I couldn't wait. No, you can't wait. To, <laughs> no. No, so, uh, no I, I couldn't do it. But believe me, that bait has never been in the water. You, you, you'll show them their hat. Can we, we show a hat, hat on yeah. the camera over there? If oh, you can he, undo that double he, knot. He didn't yeah, even he open it up. Oh my goodness, I done ruined it. He's got a hog. Oh. Oh. This sucker's got that double half hitch right in there. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego Jam is what he's got, Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a yeah, double yeah. San Diego yeah. Jam. It's probably Ronnie's old hat. <laughs> you got to trim all three times. Oh. <laughs> 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 Definitely. Probably just hair or something. We got a lid over there. <laughs> Brand new, never before oh, worn. There you go. Look at there. I think it's just like the one I'm wearing. Yeah. Isn't it? Close. It's a little different. Oh, okay. Different yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Same yep. package, and different stuff. Absolutely. You know, uh, Six Cents does make a really good product. I have some of their hollow bodies, jig heads. I mean, I've been getting a, a tailored box now for about six months. And hey, trust me. And if you order anything from SixCentsFishing.com, you can punch in that code. Anybody? Yeah. You're like Fort oh, God. You're like Fort God. You'll get a 10% discount. Yep. It's yep. highway up to 30%. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it, it works. I believe in the product or I wouldn't be sitting here telling you about it. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I'm so <laughs> proud to work with them is I was fishing all their baits before I was ever, like, on their pro staff. Uh, it was kind of funny because I actually went to high school with the guy that owns the company. Mm -hmm. And I was buying and using his products, fishing tournaments, local tournaments, stuff, and I didn't even know. He owned it, and I was talking with a guy after a tournament, and he's like, yeah, that Casey Sobzak sure does make a pretty best. I said, Casey Sobzak? Because that's a pretty unique name. And I was like, wait a minute, I know this fella. And we just happened to have gone to high school together, and I reached out to him the next week, and it's been a small world. good relationship ever since, man. There I really believe in their product. It's good stuff. And I know Casey, known him for a long time. He's a great guy. Good stuff right there. So going on a little bit more here, getting on with my thing. Uh, is there anyone likes to fish Lake Fork at night? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We get a lot of questions about night fishing, so I'm glad you're gonna talk about that. I love night fishing. I prefer night fishing over daytime fishing. I don't get to do it near as often because a lot of the customers don't <laughs> want to. But um, this time of year, some customers are like, "Yeah, I want to go night fishing," and it's a different world. You know what gets me is uh, it's you're actually working on one of your five senses and uh, that's feel another one you work on is your hearing did you hear that bait splash when you cast did you hear it hit a tree or a, a dock and then from then on you're counting on feeling whether you're 
most time I'm a Texas rig, worms, uh, magnum crawlers. Uh, Berkeley is my favorite. Um, can't deny it. Always has been. So, uh, you like Berkeley because it smells like if, it? Yeah. If I only had one. Because it smells like what? Did it? Did it? Okay. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> Cam Ron is in the building, folks. He'll be on the camera here. Yeah. <laughs> so, if. Uh, you, you know, you can always leave it up to Captain Ron, Jeff, to find a way to work doo-doo into the conversation. <laughs> he loves talking about doo-doo. Uh, we've got to hang out a little bit here the last few days, and I've enjoyed it. It ain't boring, is it, Jeff? No. It's not boring. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> good guy, good guy. Mm -hmm. Both these guys. All right, so um, as I stated, if I only could have one lure in my boat, one, one bait, it would be a seven inch black power worm, without doubt. Nothing else in your boat, seven inch black power worm. Year in, year out, day in, day out, I've caught more fish on this very bait than any other bait I've ever had in my boat. And on that video that we did where we did the fishing uh, challenge, this fish slap challenge, when I was, uh, Giving my spill on the guys network. I was pitching it out there and my first pitch on camera and all of a sudden pow got a fish hit, turned out to be a grinnel. It was a grinnel. Uh, <laughs> ugly grinnel. And you know, for that moment I thought, Well, this is perfect timing, you know. You know, just getting it in there and be like, It's a grinnel. <laughs> it's a ugly one too, you know, but anyway. So he was Hollywood, man. He yeah, won't be on camera. I'm telling you what, he ruined it. But nevertheless, the point was it worked. So one of the things I don't know. This you, deal is really cool, man. I like this deal. Since you didn't, uh, maybe you haven't seen it. If you want to go back and watch it, feel free to. This, I want to get it here a little bit closer to the camera. It's a screw lock. They have them downstairs. I think they're called hitchhikers. But there's a couple, two or three different brands. They work on every single piece of plastic you use. And, and that's purpose, just a regular EWG hook that you're adding that's that correct. to. Yeah. That's correct. Comes on and off. It does go on one side or the other. If the hook's facing away from me, it's going to go on your left. It's going to face towards you. It goes on the right. It does make a difference in the way that bait lines up. So uh, it's simple. You just screw that sucker on there. And the, what the purpose is is it makes your baits last longer. You can catch more fish using this. I actually saw, uh, believe it or not, I even look at stuff from Ike and Ellie and some other big dog fishing guys out there, but he, he has a, a, a technique that I'm not so sure about, but he screws it all the way down in there and runs it hook through the inside, and I haven't tried that yet, but I have had no problem doing it this way right here. <clears throat> you know, the fish are not going to notice it. You tie on your string, 20 pound floor is all I use. Uh, if you've broke off any fish on this lake, um, chances are you'll go to 20 pound floor carbon too. I love it. It's so sensitive, it's just like braids, that it's quiet. Billy talks about how the braid can make so much noise coming through all the timber. Yeah, and all a the slow structure. presentation where they're going to look at it for a minute sometimes, that noise can be a, a factor. Exactly. And, uh, <clears throat> of course, as I stated, you can use a 10-inch, 12-inch worm. They have bigger screw locks for it. Uh, another setup. Here we go. Just a little something different. You're talking my language <clears throat> now, huh? All right. Yeah. That's a chatterbait, right? Just to good old chatterbait but now look what I've done this I come up with on my very own you sure did because I fished chatterbait <clears> twice <throat> and I ain't seen this one before so instead of having the whole trailer bait whatever you're going to be using on your hook cut off what's going to be hanging past wherever you want it hanging past and then put your screw lock in it so, do you think that's going to add more action to that, anybody? Yeah, it's going to let the bait be freer, and, and also, man, these and that's the, the jackhammer to me is the best cheddar bait, and that that's one of the downfalls of it is that bait keeper on there will tear your stuff up exactly bad. And so, uh, 
if you run uh, stinger hooks on your spinner baits they give you a little piece of rubber band to cut off so I put that on there so that it can't fall off that's all that is and this is just a zoom speed crawl I just had just first thing I could grab um, I haven't used these in quite some time but that's another story uh, anyway so but you can do that with any paddle tail or Absolutely. whatever I have done it with paddle tails absolutely yeah. and we're still talking night bait. fishing right uh, this is not necessarily nights at 17 dollars i would have just put this in my pocket and run well yeah. that'd be a net win i know where you live so that's yeah. true yeah <laughs> <laughs> but uh that's pretty much it what i've got i wanted to share that with you and is it any questions anything at all yes sir. i just yeah. uh, you're a big texas rig guy and that's something i don't throw a whole lot talk to me about maybe your rod and reel uh setup that you like to throw in just a what are you throwing a three eighths a quarter ounce most time what do you prefer i prefer one eighth ounce depending on how shallow or deep uh, most of the time when i'm night fishing i'm in 10 foot or less okay i just have that luck or that feeling it's a, a, a comfort confident zone. confidence yeah. comfort yeah and I, it's it hasn't let me down yet and you're contouring right you're staying on a on a contour line right? Cor correct yes sir okay. yes sir more or less now i have got as deep as 15 but i'm casting up yeah. into the eight and nine and i could be an eight and nine casting up two and three and, mm -hmm. and i'm pretty confident that i could take you out tonight put you on a couple of fish no maybe not some 12 pounder but some, some fish that you would be happy to catch. Uh, so the rods, um, uh, most of mine are seven foot heavy. Um, I won't go into the brands because this ain't my deal, but uh, seven foot heavy or seven six medium heavy, uh, seven three on the low end, the gear ratio, eight one on the high. And so you like a really high speed reel? I do, and uh, I've heard you say you can even crawl them and uh you was talking about on your uh, jig uh your uh jig head with shallow bodies hollow bodies just crawling them so and the texas rig. <clears throat> and the big deal is with a texas rig in my personal opinion like you shouldn't move a texas rig with your real handle that's right that real handle is only there to pick up slack pick up slack or to reel that fish in so when you're doing that you want to pick it up fast you yep. can be more efficient now there is a little bit of a deal about swimming a worm that's a whole different ball game, right? Correct. Yeah, I see correct. you over there squirming. Yeah, and crawling that, that big worm, the 12-inch crawling. Yeah. That is correct. There, there is a, a, There's a, a tweak and everything. There's a whole bunch of flavors. flavors. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. So uh, that's mainly it. I don't, the only extra heavy 7-6 I have, is, of course, we all know it's for big swim baits, and, uh, but I haven't done any of that at night. I don't know. Uh, have you ever done any of that at night? Yeah, I have, and I think especially when you have lights, and that's we probably we me and you maybe we tag up and do a night fishing seminar one night. That'd yeah, be yeah, that'd be cold. great. Yeah, you gonna worry about mosquitoes and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> well, I won't say I don't worry about them. Um, it, it's been a really good year for them. We haven't had any issues the last two or three times I went out of shorts and flip flops. And if there's no wind, a little bug spray don't hurt. But I can remember one night last year, oh my goodness, yeah. the mayflies, it looked like fog, they were so bad. It, was, it looked like a mirror across the lake for two miles, and the mayflies were horrible. So we didn't fish long, but we have had some nights where, but not this year. So are you fishing? Are you focusing on on any kind of vegetation or anything, or timber, or are you just? It, just whatever kind of we feel like. If we're here and say in seven to two foot of water, bite slow. We might go set in fifteen, cast to seven. Is there any just particular type of structure up. like points or creek channel swings or anything points, you're looking for? Points, points and uh, vegetation. Yep. So points. Yep. And you know they're. Just about every point's got some kind of rocks and stumps on it. And sure. Hard stuff. Yeah, hard you know, spot. and yeah. uh, as far as the weights, I do love Titan tungsten weights. And I'll tell you why. One, has anybody ever heard of Titan tungsten? Yeah. They are stamped with the weight size on each yeah. individual weight. So there's no guessing. 
and they're very uh, very durable. I've got one on, had it on now for three months, and still looks brand new. There's no paint chip. You still read the size on it. Amazing product. I like them. Uh, but normally one eighth ounce. If I'm up to nine, if I get any deeper than nine, I'm going to a quarter ounce. Now, if I'm on a 10 inch worm, I'll go up to a half ounce. Very seldom do I fish a half, any bigger than a half ounce Texas rigging. And uh, everything 20 pound fluorocarbon, uh, everything in my boat except for one, and it's 15 <laughs> pounds. Yeah. 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 You, you graft it in it before you go, or you just target the Yes, sir, we do. Uh-huh, we do. And, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to do much graphing up there, and, you know, the four yeah, and five yeah. foot of water, but, you know, have some spots that just have produced, and so we don't worry about it. Yeah, these are there for like 30 minutes, nothing good. These little exactly, little. yeah, and there's, you know, a stretch bank on the, the other side of the lake that it's like two miles long, and I mean, Put your trolling motor, raise it up as high as you can get it without spooking, causing a bunch of turbulence. And I mean, just go down the lake. I love it. I love night fishing. That's my favorite. So I'm looking forward to the seminar about Yeah, the next fishing. time you're able to come to it, we'll do Absolutely. a full on in depth. So get ready for that one for us, buddy. So yeah, be feel, feel free to go like my Facebook page. It's Lake Fork Guide 365. It's also on Instagram, Lake Fork Guide 365. I'd um, be glad to. Truck stop bathroom. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say That's that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to leave with you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, Big round, guys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed it. Good job. Okay. All right, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Good so, time. Time.